episode. With, yes, on the truck. So this video is going to be um, <coughs> pretty much a lot of talking and a lot of communicating and uh, communicating to you. So it's not going to be a lot of videos or pictures. It's going to be me sitting in this position for about 10 minutes just talking about when you make your next purchase and what purchase you should do. Um, so let's get into it. Nine more minutes left. No, I'm just kidding. But, okay, so you can go to this video because you're in the market to buy a new F-50 or maybe a used F-50. It's right here, 91,000 uh, 91, mile used F-150 EcoBoost. And it's a 2019 trip, platinum, obviously. Uh, 10 speed, the V6 EcoBeast, you know? So, let me talk to you into it. So if you're looking in the market to buy a good, reliable truck <coughs> between motors, the 5.0 I think is more, more, more reliable motor, and there's a 27, which is just a smaller version of this motor and not as much horsepower. The 35 is the most popular high output performance motor, but sometimes they do have uh, problems. I've had problems with EcoBoost, but they're a great truck before the problem. <laughs> um, they're very great in towing, but I just want to get right into it and explain what's their competitor. Their competitor obviously is the Chevy Silverado, the new Chevy Silverado, the new ones that everyone pretty much has, those trail bosses and all those Chevy 1500s. Uh, and the other one, Ram 1500, which I think Ram 1500 has the best looking interior in the world. Ram has the interior beat on this truck, and this year, and this year too, I'm not talking about new ones, this year, and the Chevy, anyone. Because Ram 1500 is the only one that had those beautiful seats, those beautiful digital like grain, wood grain gauges, and of course their iPad screen that's like 14 inches big diagonal. And they've been putting that in there since this 2019 truck. This 2019 truck only has a 12 inch screen, that's, which is still a big screen, it's 12 inch iP little screen, like, like an iPad mini. And that's the same thing in the, the Chevy 7 1500s. So that's interior wise. Ram wins there. What does Ford win? I think Ford wins on towing. If it's like, and I'm not talking about F50s, so this is strictly comparison between the Ram 1500, a, 70, a Chevy 1500, and a Ram, and an F150. Towing is, has the best towing ever. This 10 speed tow is really good. I think it tows better than the Chevy because the Chevys are, I don't think, that reliable in towing. And definitely tows better than that Ram 1500. There's like a lot of reviews and articles about it. You can go fact your facts, uh, check my facts. But towing has number one. And I think in aesthetic looks, that's obviously opinions, but I think I really like the F 150s. I look, they just look so good, especially when you do a bubble setup. Huh, next one, another video from now. But um, <laughs> I think they look very good in the bubble setups. So now, what motors come in the, since you already know the F-150s, and let's say you're trying to really buy a 50 that's pretty much you already got to know. You got to know it's either a 2.7, uh, a 3.5, and a 5.0. 3.5 is the fastest one, I think. With ten, and you want to get a 10-speed turn basically if you're getting an F-150. And also, um, <coughs> there's also an uh, F-150 that they sell a diesel. It's called a little 3-liter power stroke, I think. So you can either get a diesel one, which I don't see a lot. I've only seen like three or two in the world. I've seen like one in person the other day, but besides that. Let's get into Ram Motors. The Ram Motor has a 5.7 Heavy, which has, I think, a whopping of 310 horsepower, something like that. 300 something horsepower, it's not as much as this. Uh, really reliable motor, I know that. They're like the 5.0 50s, very reliable. So that, I think they have reliability on their motors. And the Chevys, I think they still come with the, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's the 5.3, 5.3 engine motor? I think it's a 5.3, I think. Or maybe a 4 liter now, I'm not sure. But that's the engine that comes with one of those. I'm sorry, I don't know much about Chevys, but I know that they're uh, <coughs> have that uh, motor. It's only their five three, and I think the Chevys are doing a very good job of changing their look. They, they're, the, I think they're the most ones that change their look by far. They change their look in every line on Chevy could possibly do. Those new trail bosses look sick, and actually the brand new Chevys that are coming out have a big uh, screen that goes all the way across. It's like from like the driver to the passenger almost. <coughs> so go, look at those new trail boss uh, Chevy. Um, but the Ram in comparison to this, there's actually a whole video of actually showing the truck because I only have an Apple 50 here. Uh, that's all I can show you. But um, these trucks are still very great trucks. So if you're in a market to buy a used F-150, I'd say to literally, when you're there with the person, be on it. Tell them to be honest. What is wrong with the truck? Uh, has any motor damage? Was the last time I changed your oil? What does it have any overheating problems? Does it have turbo problems? Does it have uh, what's the big thing on these trucks? Uh, the exhaust manifold, the, the passenger exhaust manifold didn't work. Um, 
make sure you know what trim you're getting, make sure you know what trans you're getting, because F-150 only uh, started making the new 10 speeds great transmission after uh, they started it in 2017, but only with the EcoBoost, it's not the 5.0s. <coughs> and then 2018, 2018 oh, they have 10 speeds in every one, the 5.0, 3.5, every single one. <coughs> um, <coughs> these trucks start at used. You can find a F-150 with 100K miles on a used in a good condition. I think you can find one for like 25 grand right now. So that's pretty good. Now, if you buy a brand new F-150, I think they're at like 55 grand right now. That's like not even the flat, like the highest model. That's like 55 grand. I think it's like a lariat. <coughs> I think. Um, but they have cool, they have a whole new geometry inside. They have a big iPad screen. They have a big luxurious seats. Um, very, very cool looking things. But this truck, by the way, um, I don't know about the fuel MPG on the other trucks, but I know that big old Hemi's not doing this, what this is doing, and that Chevy definitely is not. This F-150 Platinum, if you want to buy a truck that is you clicked on the F-150, so you, I think you want this. But now if you really want to buy this, this is going to make you really buy this. Because this is getting a whopping 20.2 miles per gallon. I can show you on the dash. I don't have my key on me, but I promise you I'm getting 20 miles per hour in this truck. I think right now it's at like 19 point something, but I've been averaging 20.2 miles per gallon on this truck right here. It's exactly how this comes. All I do is put a few lug nuts on. <laughs> so if you want good gas mileage, this is your truck. If you want good towing, this thing has all the options. It has eco mode, normal mode, wet, slippery mode, um, sport mode, which is super fast. It just holds the gear high output. And then the tow haul mode. The tow haul mode works good for towing. I've towed this truck with two side-by-sides and a big 24-foot trailer. Towed really good with it. Now the towing with the gas mileage is not that good, obviously. But um, this 3.5-liter EcoBoost uh, Twin Turp Ski V6 with a 10-speed has been very reliable so far. I've only had it for 2,000 miles. <laughs> Because <laughs> I got this truck used with 89k now it has 91,000 all so um, The last 2,000 miles. I have not had one issue. I've changed the oil Obviously when I first got it I changed the oil about 1,500 miles ago uh, brand new oil high oil uh, I say when you guys get this truck do expensive oil because you want these V6 to run really good So get the expensive oil What else you can also get this truck in the big uh, I don't know if you can see the trunk from here, but you can get the trunk that is like six and a half. This is the smaller box, this is the five five box. They sell the six and a half bed, which is that extra foot looks like it looks like an F two fifty. And then they have the eight foot bed, which is a long F one fifty. And then they have the two door, obviously. They have the two door with a um, pocket door here. Um, obviously, it's the four door platinum trim. It just has the black interior. Some platinums have different colors, but I like this gray setup. I love this grill. So I'll just let you know some F-150 history, if you want to know your history about your new truck that you're getting. Um, from 2015 to 2017, 2015 they changed the body. They started to change a new uh, modern body. Obviously from, I think it's uh, 2011 to 2014, they had that, they had like that uh, 6.2 liter Raptor uh, trim, you know that 6.2, 6 6.2 Raptor that, that is discontinued now. Now it's a 3.5 motor, this motor. But this is um, the, yeah, this motor is the same one in the Raptors, by the way. So, this trim, they put the two grill. They started this in 2018, and they stopped that in 2020, 2020, I think. Then they did that from 2018 to 2020. I think 2021 or 2022, they started doing, obviously, the new LED light and new configuration of the whole new front end. But this trim is pretty cool because it has two little lines that go across. And that's the only thing they changed about the body. Literally, the only thing is changed that grill that has two lines and those lights that go like that. And I did that from 2018 to 2020. And from 2015 to 2017, all I did was put take these lines away and put like something here. The, the grill was just from here to here. But everything looks the same from 2015 to 2020. They just changed the grill in 18 to 20 with these two lines. Which makes it look, I don't know, I kind of like it like this. I like my old, the platinum, old, old, the old platinum grill, but this just looks very, 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 very aesthetically pleasing to me. I don't know why. Grew on me. But what else can I talk about? I talked about the motor, the trans, the towing of this truck, uh, in comparison to Ram towing, comparison to Ram interior, comparison to Chevy. I don't know a lot about Chevy, but <clears throat> I know Chevy's not doing good gas mileage like this thing. And I heck know that they don't have technology in there, and I feel like I'm just destroying Chevy. Oh, except obviously the new Chevy Trail Bosses. Those things are just insane, I think. They're really cool. And especially the new, new Ch uh, Trail Bosses. Their interior is like, they have the iPad going all the way across. But <clears throat> what Chevys do have, I feel like, I don't know if it's just me, but they have these seats in there that are just so comfortable, yo. Like, these seats are like, I don't 
don't know. Like, how do I say it? They're just like these like big cushiony like suburban seats. That's how they had it. So yeah, guys, I hope this uh, inspired you a little bit. I didn't say a lot because I don't know a lot, a lot. I'm not like a, a nerd about this, but I know what my truck is and I know what it's capable of. And I know the gap. And I know what it does. So <laughs> I hope you buy a new F-150 or used or maybe a Chevy or Ram. But comment below if you're buying a truck right now and seeing, tell me what you're going to buy. Even if it's not a truck, a car, just tell me what you're going to buy right now. It's pretty cool. Keep the comment section going. And be on the lookout on these next two videos that tomorrow's going to be a jam-packed day because I'm we're filming a lot. Tomorrow's gonna be a good old school video of me and Drew. Those love those me and Drew videos. Good old videos, those are the best videos. But we're gonna do something to this truck right here. This truck's gonna get a whole new look, by the way. And this is tomorrow. And I'm filming that, and that video, I don't know when that video's coming out, but I'm filming it tomorrow. I'm gonna give a sneak peek tomorrow on the short on the YouTube community. And also, my Defender is getting uh, some noise on it. And you guys can hear say that's exhaust or big speakers. All right, thank you for watching. Catch you later.